Hi, I'm Tash from Heart and Design. Here on my channel, I hope to provide a safe space for everyone to learn art, no matter what stage you're at. So, I really appreciate you for clicking through and welcome to the Heart Tribe. If you could please subscribe, like or comment or share if you haven't already, that would really help newbie artists to find me. Today we are going to colour with coloured pencil this lovely beach scene. Um, we're going to need a range of colours in blues, a pink, an orange, a red and a sandy yellow and a sun yellow. I mean use the colours you have. If you haven't already got your full set of 120 pencils like me which was gifted to me then if you've got 12 or 24 set just pick the closest ones okay this is just for you it's learning it's for your own sketchbook private sketchbook it's or whatever you want to use it or you can use it in your crafting your paper crafting don't worry too much and you don't even have to use the same colors in the parasol and the towel or anything like that you know it's it's down to you so let's get started i'm going to start with the sand now i'm going to hold the pencil quite far away and use the side of my pencil because what we're wanting to do is just to fill that area in as best we can as quickly as we can with as much of the pigment off the pencil as we can okay there's a little bit in there go around the bucket and let's see now the first layer or when I'm working in colored pencil is all about just getting that pigment onto the paper from the color pencil now I keep turning it because that means you don't end up with that flat edge and you don't waste your pencil keep turning keep turning and that will save your pencil so we're going round and round there we go go around everything okay now my drawing isn't the same as that one exactly so don't worry if yours isn't yeah just do it how you want to do it when when you go to the actual instructional video um it will, it will make sense to you right i'm gonna now go in with let me just get the right blue that was the sky that was this next blue so this is the next blue for the sea in the background now obviously this is not a realist kind of art it's a more of an illustration um which is great for beginners to start with. There's no stress of worrying about making it look like this or that. It's just having fun and learning at the same time. So again, I'm on the side of the pencil. I'm just trying to get the first layer down. I'm moving in circular motion so that I don't get any streak line marks, any lines anywhere. Keep turning that pencil keep going in circular motions just to get down what you can there's not much there just make sure if there's any kind of patchy parts that you're going back and filling it in as best you can and you may think oh it doesn't look very good or oh, it will in a minute <laughs> have no fear okay the next stage is the dark blue this is almost a purpley dark blue when you get to kind of um when you do get to the darker colours, they do start to, with blues, they do actually start to look pink purple and they're kind of heading into the purple area of the colour wheel. So I can see the purple in any way, it's not that obvious on the screen. Maybe it's just my eyes. Okay, so doing the same, holding the pencil far away. Now, I would suggest to you, don't do what I'm doing and contort your hand. You move your sheet around how it's comfortable for you to colour. I'm just keeping it this way so it's easier for you to see. And I've got another camera up there recording, so I kind of need to leave um, the drawing in the same place. Right, now I'm going to go in and do the sky. So we'd have done all of our background colours. Again, just use what colours you have, any blues you have, any yellows you have, and then just use whatever colours you have for the parasol and the towel and the bucket, because it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm not going right to the edge of my piece of paper. I quite like the edges when I'm doing a full, full um, little picture. I want to see the whole thing. 
I, I don't want it to go to the edge. I like it to just be free, free edges. <laughs> So yeah, if you have any questions, please do ask me in the comments below. Um, yeah, and if you do actually do the drawing or and colour, whatever you do, please do post it in the comments, I'd love to see. I hopefully at some point will be starting up a Facebook group to link in with my channel um so it'd be nice for you all to share your work especially anyone that starts from beginner and goes all the way on when i eventually have my more advanced sheets but we've got to start somewhere and the beginning is the best place so you'll find when you get onto my website if you're watching this as i'm doing it in 2022 there is a just the first set available the summer sheets and then the further we get in time I will be adding to them more and more the advanced sheets well because they do take more time they won't there won't be so many they will just be single releases but on things like the beginner ones I think it's important to have some kind of quantity there for you that you can um, really get get your teeth into and, and get learning as quick as possible without spending hours and hours on one thing. So again, I'm just going around in circles. At the moment, everything is looking quite patchy and lots of white showing, but eventually that will not be the case. <clears throat> so going in now with my nice bright yellow for my sunshine there we go nice bright yellow and I'm pressing hard there because I've already gone down with the blue and silly me I've gone over it which means it's going to make a bit of a greeny yellow but never mind blue and yellow make green so I'm going to put a bit more pigment down on the sun I'm still going around in circles okay uh, let's do the bucket I am going to stick to having a red bucket I don't know why but there's something just traditional about having a red beach bucket okay and then I'm going to go on the inside I'm just going to shade the inside pink just because it you will see the inside on the other side but it, you don't want it to be the same red I want it to be a bit lighter got brown I've got brown dark brown for the handle of the spade now it's time for the beach towel so we'll do one wiggly part first one two skip there we go one two skip those and then then you know you've if you've counted that you haven't made any mistakes and then you've got your spacing ready for the next color so you can't really go wrong so here we go Now you will find the colours will mix in together a little bit on the edges but we're going to go over the whole thing with black pen in the end as it is an illustration and we're going to go over and make it pop. There's a lot of colours involved in this, this piece, it's a bit more detailed than the level 1 beginners, um, so this is a level 2 beginners. Now what we're going to do is use our blending brush, this is our blending pencil rather, and we're going to go over and blend the, cut the pigment, as you can see it makes a big difference, blend the pigment into itself and the paper. And that way we get a clearer idea of how well the pencil has gone down and what we need to add for next time. So. 
it makes a big big difference this blender pencil if you decide colouring pencils is the what the medium you want to go down then I really really recommend that you get one of these or a few I think mine came in a pack of two so I have two when I use get get onto the second one I shall order them again so I'm ready okay so going to the towel doing the same thing it really does make a difference as you can see it brings out the pigment it makes it more vibrant and uh, you can use this little picture for your scrapbooks your sketchbooks for any of your crafting to make a little postcard to make a little card whatever you like everyone loves a handmade picture or a handmade item they're so much more special okay so just blending in here as well do the sun that really does make the sun pop sorry that's probably a bit off camera no we're okay i try to be careful not to move it too much now i am going to put it on its side because i want to come down and do the sandy area and you'll see now the difference that makes as well and it's uh it's kind of smudging the pencil into each other like the the pigment and it just gives a nice smoother effect just going over there we are I'm going to go in and do the C now I've still got a bit of that sand colour on my blender but it's fine I'm not too worried, you know, I'd be more worried if I was doing a really detailed, realist piece. But we're just doing a nice little illustration, very flat, no, no real detail, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, this was our first layer, so when we've done this, we will go back and do another layer. You can still see that. Let's move my hand out of the way. I'm trying to hold the paper in place because it wibbles about all over. There we go. Okay, now we'll do the sky. This probably won't make too much difference with the sky because I can tell that we haven't got anywhere near enough pigment down. But it is doing a little bit you can see the difference a little bit so i'm going to do that quickly because i just know that i need to get more down blend it in we're done okay so now what we can do is go over everything again now i definitely know that i need more pigment in the sky so now you can see because i've done the blending as i come into my second layer most of the tooth of the paper is filled so now the second layer will just be on top and much more vibrant and clear and smooth and not so patchy. So I'm going to work my way around in the sky, make sure I've got that all down for you. Don't forget questions down in the comments please. I am happy to answer any questions you have. I may have forgotten something as I've been going round so yeah please do see the point is very good if you if you have a point on your pencil just to get into those little nooks and crannies and now I want to make sure that the colour is very clear and smooth and different to the other colours of the sea 
So I'm going right up and making sure that colour is clear. I'm going to leave the birds white. They have a bit of blue in them as I've gone over, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. We can still see them. I did draw them quite clearly. Um, now what you can do at the end is I go over everything with a pen, a fine liner pen, but you can do whatever you like. You can use a pencil and just you can leave it, go over it with a biro, a gel pen, whatever you feel like. But I do recommend a fine liner. So I'm going to go in now and try and smooth out that second layer a bit. Um, and you would keep going with this until your paper sort of said no no more you can't fit any more pencil on and it will just be smooth and it will slide off you'll know when your paper is saying no more okay so that's the layer of the sky done I'm gonna go in and do this layer of the sea okay as you can see it's looking better There we go in with the dark a bit now let's try and really make that stand out yeah lovely do it just to see oh yeah it does come out better it does come out a lot better nice lovely because we've done the first layer in circles and we haven't really got any stri streaks down we can now go over it in lines because you won't see them And I'm going to get the point to go into these little grooves to make sure there is enough colour on those as well. And like I said, you can keep going with your layers until you are completely happy. We will go over and blend again in a minute. Okay, so now it's time to do another layer of the parasol, which I know is going to come out amazing because I know the red is very heavily pigmented. But we've got to be careful not to make it too bright and um, vibrant so that it drowns everything else out because red is a colour that attracts the eye and we don't want to be drawn just to the redness we want to be able to see, we want people to just see the whole thing if you see what I mean nearly went in the wrong colour then don't worry if you do you know it's not a biggie um orange yeah that's much better pink okay bit more here bit more yellow on the sun okay so now I'm going to get the blending tool I'm just going to sharpen it a minute and we're going to go over 
everything again just to make sure it's nicely blended in you don't have to go over everything just go over what you what you want what you think needs blending out more just want to shade in the, the pole <laughs> there we go now you can just leave it as it is you don't have to go over it with your pencil and redraw it or anything but I'm going to use my liner to go over it because I do like to go over it I'm going to use an 04 liner pen it's quite nice it's 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 thin not too thick but still is enough to see it and this will help to make your picture pop a bit remember it's an illustration if I was doing a sketch or a real life type drawing I would not be going like I would not be outlining it but this is more of a flat type drawing now what I think I want to do also is come in with my pink and just do a little bit of shading just a little bit and make it a bit darker in other places you could get a darker pink so you could get that red that I've got and just shade the top can you see and then we start to come in and make 3d effects so on that red one we need an even brighter red which I'm not sure I've got but I have got a darker red, so you could come in with the darker red. A little bit of shading at the top there. Doesn't need to be too much, and a little bit at the bottom. Just to give it the effect that, oh yeah, this is a 3D thing. There's light and dark on this. Um, I could get a darker orange. And do the same on the orange there and try and blend it in with the rest of it so it doesn't look like it sticks out like a sore thumb. Okay, and you can do the same. I'll probably do it around the edges of the towel. And it just helps to give it more of a realistic look. So we're gonna go for this on the red, around the edges. There we are. Okay, that one's not really showing up much. Let's give that a bit. It's better. Then we're going to go into the pink and do the same using that red but just pressing lightly and giving that some dimension as well. Go in the way that the towel's all wrinkled and squished up and towels get in all sorts of shapes on the beach, don't they? Okay, so there we go get some more of that dark red and put some around the edges of the bucket and at the bottom which will make that look a bit more 3D it's quite hard for it to show up there we are okay and then with the sun we can do the same we can just go in and add a little bit of orange over that yellow just give it some depth really yeah looks nice maybe a bit on the on the little sun stripes as well so you could do the same with the water so this is the beginning of learning to to be more lifelike is just getting your darks and your likes right using your values and yeah just learning to make things look a bit more real 
we don't want to do it too much because this is an illustration it's it's not really a detailed realistic look of the beach um sky i will just keep the same i'll leave that because actually it's quite patchy with a white in um i didn't blend it too much for a reason i just wanted it to be like sky like um i just want to go in over the sea a bit more here there um, and what we could do is just draw little lines in the water like that that kind of represent little waves in the sea but we're doing it illustratively so it's not realistic but it looks good and then i'm going to get the sandy color and then i'm going to try and draw in where that's dipping in the sand and just put a little bit of shadow around it because there'll be shadow from the parasol there'll be a little bit of shadow from the from the bucket and the same from around the blanket all the way around because it's messing up that sand messing up that sand okay i hope you enjoyed that one anyway um i'm going to carry on lining you can either stop here as you know what's coming or continue to watch and join in again please do put any questions down below i will just give you a tip it's quite difficult to get the pen on once we've done all that blending because it's very slidey and the paper doesn't want to take anymore so you've got to go over it a couple of times um, and sometimes it just won't do it at all so just do what you can hopefully you can see that my back door is open if you can hear people um, okay so now we're just going to do the C um, I'm just going to do it wiggly because the paper is struggling to take my pen if I got a thicker pen it would probably be alright but I don't want to ruin it with big really big thick black lines you could actually also what also happens is the pencil goes on the end of the nib there we are um, you could also just go over it with a gel pen or another black pencil or um, just carry on just just go over it again with a pencil you did it with in the first place and then um, sorry concentrating and just go over it a bit harder there. nearly there towel and bucket and then we're pretty much done don't forget to do the stripes the wiggly stripes on your blanket or towel or whatever it is let me know what yours looks like especially if you've changed the colours I hope you enjoyed that thanks for joining me and we will catch you on the next one hopefully don't forget you can all the links are below to my website to sign up um, and obviously there's lots of other videos on my channel for you to see that are free but they are extra bonus ones on my website thanks very much take care everyone